Hello everybody, welcome back to my Country Sparkles channel. Today I'm going to be building roll away nesting boxes for my chickens as they are starting to lay. So let's get going. For starters, I am a very visual person, so I did some research and I drew out, sketched out what I kind of wanted them to look like and how I wanted to do it. And then I took that chicken scratch and made a better rendition. And then from that, I um, taped six pieces of paper together and made a template. So this helped out so well. So here are my measurements for you to see. So I started out with a square that was 19 inches by 19 inches. And then from there I cut 14 inches down, five inches over, and then this was 17 inches long. And then this bottom piece I cut out and then I angled it straight down to this corner of 19 inches. So I cut that just straight off. And so that was a two inch removal piece here to make the incline. And those will be the spacers between each nesting box and the walls on each side. So that is where I started out from. And now let's cut those walls out. Okay, from here I took my template and all I did was I laid it on a piece of OSB and matched up on my lines and everything. And I cut out my walls. So there you go. Next, so I'm gonna cut out some OSB for the flooring and that's about 19 inches, but I'm gonna measure that to make it exact, exactly where I want it to be. And then for the top here, I'm going to measure that and cut out boards for the top. And then there'll also be a board here and a board up front here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut those. And over here my plans, as you can see, I'm gonna make them 54 and a half inches is the space I have for it. And I'm actually gonna do four nesting boxes, not three. Um, two at each end that are 14 inches wide and the two in the middle that are 12 inches wide to accommodate smaller and bigger chickens. I made my nesting boxes 12 inches deep, so this way you can always make them longer, but I definitely wouldn't go shorter than that. I made them 12 inches to accommodate the space that we have planned out for them. Okay, let's start assembling these boxes. So first off, I'm gonna put a brace at the bottom and at the top of each of the nesting walls. So that way we have something to secure them to the OSB floors, the floor and the ceiling. Um, these are just one by twos cut to the length of the bottom and the top of the nesting walls. I'm gonna use an air staple gun I have on hand, you can also use screws, but air staple guns, just a little bit faster. And since I have the tools, you know, my husband bought the tools, <laughs> I might as well use them. And the staples that I'm going to use are 18 gauge and they're one inch long. So that's what I'm gonna use. The crown is one fourth of an inch, in case you didn't know that. I normally just go by the length and the gauge. So one inch long, gauge 18, and they are staples. Let's get building. Along with stapling, I want these to be super secure and be really strong. So I'm going to put wood glue in between also. So here we go, just a bead of wood glue right down the middle. Nothing too crazy. And that's it. I'll put that on there. Down. I'll put one at the top also. like that. Then I'm gonna flip it over so that way I can nail it from the OSB down into the wood because you want to nail down into the strong wood. Just gonna line everything up again and then nail it in. Line up the top. Now, there you go, that's it. I'll do this to each of the wall pieces.
now that all of my walls are have their attachment pieces on it and are stapled and glued now I'm going to mark the bottom panel to align them up on I'm going to glue the glue the wall pieces on and staple them on also but first I'm going to measure out each section to make it how big I want so I'm going to do 14 on both sides and then two 12s in the middle so I'm going to measure that out real fast Okay, when I measured everything out, I made sure to measure to what the outside of the OSB would be because in between the two walls is what the size of the chicken coop is I want, not from edge to like the inside on one. So inside to inside. So this is where my measurements start and end and then I'll just line up my boards right where I want them to go. So to connect the walls, let's take a wall. I lined them all up to make sure I'm going the right way before because unstapling things and ungluing things is not so much fun. Gonna run a bead of glue right down the bottom. And then I'm gonna stick it on here. So this is just an end piece. Line it up with the edge. And then in order to flip it to nail from the top, I'm actually gonna just take my nail gun and reach it underneath here and staple it like that just for a couple and then I'll flip it over to finish there we go. Now that these are all tacked in, I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over, but you may have noticed how over here doesn't have a lip on the wall like these do. So these lips are there to catch the eggs. So we'll put a board on this side, and then when we install it, it'll be at a bit of a slant, about like that. And so the roll, eggs will be able to roll down and be caught here and then gathered by us. But this part, I had to cut off the lips there because um, of the way our chicken coops built my husband needs that space and so I'm going to cut out this whole corner and I'm just going to make a little ramp that'll go in there after we have installed these inside of our coop but if you're just putting these to set inside your coop and you're going to like put your own stand on them then I'd make make all the walls with the slip on it The top is all stapled on, so now I've got my bottom piece here cut out and I'm gonna mark it um, to make 14 and 12 inch boxes so that way I can line it up with this and then after marking it, I will glue and staple it on.
Tops all on and secure. Do you see it forming, coming together? For the next piece, I'm gonna put a stopper on the egg part of this. So I'm just waiting until it's up so you can see. So it comes down here and this is where the eggs will roll to. And so I need to put a stopper there so they don't roll out onto the ground. I just have a piece of OSB there. I'm gonna line up with the edges. And I'm gonna staple it down. I'm gonna, so because of the way our coop's built, again, I'm gonna have to trim out this edge, which is why this part isn't burnt all the way up. So this will be cut off. But I'm gonna do that in the coop so I can get it exactly measured to where I need it to be. So I'm gonna tack these down real fast. Make sure, I'm making sure they're even with the top. And I'm stapling it in the back, right where that support board is for the walls. Oh, looks like I might be out of bullets. Okay, quick reload on the staples and now we're back in business. There we go. And that, I think I'm gonna actually put a support piece in here too. So I just have some spare pieces here. I'll cut them right here to where I need them to be. And then we'll, I'll glue and staple those in too. Okay, so I stapled those in the top and now I'm gonna rotate this down and staple them from the side so that way they have support from the wall also. Okay, now that I have the egg catcher backboard on there, so if you see that, it'll sit up like this. Eggs will roll down and they will get caught there. So the last piece of this that I'm gonna do is put a trim piece on the bottom here, which will help prevent eggs from being kicked out up front. And also if you put hay or pine shavings or something like that inside um, of the nesting box, then when chickens go to lay, they like to kick and scratch things out. And so that will help keep the hay and pine shavings inside the nesting box instead of them being emptied out every time one goes to lay an egg. So I'll be attaching this. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue around on the OSB. And I just now decided that I'm going to actually use little one by twos too and put right here on the inside to help support this a little bit more because the chickens will be jumping onto a bar and then possibly onto this in order to get into the nesting boxes. The front is all stapled on now and glued. See that? So that will be the bottom. That, this is upside down. Let me flip it for you. There it is. So there's the back. When we 
um, install it, we'll install it at an angle so that way this is level and then the bottom will be angled up to allow the eggs to roll back and be caught right here. And if I were just putting this on the ground, I could just put like a two by four or something like that under it or screw a two by four into it so it's not all wobbly and janky. <laughs> but you can just put a two by four right under it and that will give you the elevation that you need to help roll the eggs out so you can catch them and that way uh, hens won't peck at their eggs and then you'll get nice fresh eggs, nothing cracked. And when they roll out like that too, it also helps to prevent poop from getting on them because sometimes they'll sleep in the ne nesting boxes but if the eggs roll out and they come back in to sleep in the nesting boxes that's when they normally use the restroom and so that will end up in um, nesting boxes so this will help to also keep your eggs clean so yay there it is so there's the back you can put a lid over the top here to just protect your eggs even more. Um, you can also put a board across this area for a backing. I would definitely suggest doing that. For us, it's going to sit right up against um, some chicken wire that will be inside the chicken coop. And I will show that to you when I give you a chicken coop tour when our coop is done. Let me flip this around so you can see it from the front side real fast. And here's what it looks like from the front. So the front is what you want tilted up, just like that nice and even to allow the eggs to fall back to the back. Thank you for watching this video with me. If you have any comments or anything like that, please put them down below and I will be sure to read those and to respond to them as soon as I can. If you liked this video, please give it a like down below and subscribe so that way you can see our upcoming videos and we are excited to see you next time. Thanks you guys, bye.